Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be talking about deployments. We will be talking about Sidecar deployments and Vercel deployments. We will create dev, UAT and production environment to see how we can deploy and manage deployments in both environments. If we log into Sidecar Cloud, we will see on the right hand side links, quick links. The first one is XM Cloud Deploy. So we need to navigate to that area to create an environment to see our project. So I'm going to click on the link so you can see XM Cloud Deploy Portal. In XM Cloud Deploy Portal, we will see a couple of links on the left hand side, projects, deployments, credentials. We will be focusing on the first two, projects and deployments. The first one basically lists all of your projects. We will be selecting one of the projects for which you want to create environments. Uh, so I'm going to select one of them. And as you can see, we have two environments. At the moment, we have dev and UAT environment. We have dev links to main branch and UAT, we, we don't link to any environments. I show you what the difference is and how to configure it. So on the right hand side, we can click on the button create environment. When we create, when we click on the button, we will see a screen. We have to provide environment name. We have to select and specify whether this is a production environment or not. And then we can link this environment with a specific branch. So for example, if you want to link UAT environment with our staging branch, we can do this. And then we can say whether we want to build or we want to trigger deployment on commit to this specific branch. If we link our environment with a specific branch, then obviously when we trigger a build, Sidecrew will take the latest changes from this, from this branch and we will build and deploy um, this um, build to our environment. We can always deploy to UAT by promoting dev build to UAT. I'll show you how to do it. It's, I'm calling it promoting, but basically you are deploying a build that we deployed to dev. You are deploying it to UAT by selecting the UAT as your target environment. So you can do it by going to deployments and if you go to deployments, you can select one of your successful builds. And uh, as you can see, uh, you have an option deploy build artifact to another environment. So you can select it and then you will, you will see on the screen um, your targets. So at the moment I can deploy dev build to UAT. By selecting UAT and deploying it, I will be deploying build that we deployed to dev environment and this way you can deploy to UAT, from UAT you can deploy to production without linking your specific environment with a branch um, and manage builds and deployments this way. The next thing we want to cover today is Vercel and how to manage environments, how to create environments and configure them so we can have dev environment, UAT environment and production environment. So on the screen you can see my project, this is just one project that I created in Vercel. In terms of configuration, we have a couple of options, uh, but to be honest, the only one that probably may work for you is to create multiple projects in Vercel and link them to specific branches and assign different um, environment variables. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So let's have a look at settings section and see what we can configure uh, for this particular project. So we can assign number of variables. Uh, we have standard JSS app name, we have Sitecore API key, we have GraphQL endpoint. So what I've done here is, uh, so I've added two additional domains, a dev, dev domain and staging domain. Dev URL is linked to dev branch. So build from dev branch is linked to dev um, URL. Staging URL is linked to staging build. It's quite useful, however, we don't have a flexibility to assign different environment variables for the staging build and for dev build, which means that the content and layouts that we will be taking from Sitecore Edge will be the same for all of these environments. So another option is to create a new project. And when we will be creating this project, we can assign uh, this project to a different branch, for example, dev branch, we can specify environment variables for this dev project 
to point to dev environment in Sidecore. And we can do the same for UAT. So we can create second or third project and then we can link this project with our staging branch and configure over our environment variables to point to Sidecore staging environment. This configuration will allow us to build our projects from different branches. That's number one. And number two is that we will have different environment variable sets for each of these projects, which means that we will be taking content and uh, layouts from specific environment in Sidecore. So we've covered today Sidecore deployments, environments, versus deployments, projects and environments. And if you would like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.